okay so you will often see elasticity defined like this so the elasticity let's let, let's say we are talking about the price elasticity of demand so with the price elasticity of demand you will see something like this price elasticity of demand for a given product is the percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price okay now let me just correlate this with a simple picture so if you have a regular demand curve so you have uh, price on the y axis quantity on the x axis and this is your demand curve and let's say as let's say that we are trying to find the elasticity of demand at this point x so at this point x there is a certain price let's say that price is 100 and there is a certain quantity and that quantity is 50 so we are finding the elasticity of demand for a given product at this point x the formula as i said earlier is percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price now the way you can model this is let's say that you are at this point 100 and if you look at a uh, area or a segment of this line that is just a little bit above and below x so in that region you can then come up with this numerator as well as the denominator so what you have seen earlier one way of coming up with elasticity is to find uh, this distance and divided by 100 that would be the percentage change in price and then again uh, or actually let me do it slightly differently the concept is percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price now in your curriculum the way this is written uh, this then gets written as change in quantity divided by quantity divided by change in price divided by price now do we agree with the fact that this percentage change in quantity is the same thing as change in quantity over quantity that part is agreed then obviously the percentage change in price is the same thing as change in price okay now going to your basic mathematics if you have uh, let's say something like 10 over 5 divided by uh, let's say 4 over 2 okay so this is the same form right yeah. okay now with this form in basic fractions you have 10 over 5 divided by 4 over 2 so this could also be written as 10 over 5 divided by 4 over 2 and do you remember that when you have a one fraction divided by another fraction this could be then written as 10 over 5 multiplied by 2 over 4 does that ring a bell okay so then effectively what we've done is this fraction over a fraction which looks ugly we have converted that into something that looks less ugly so this thing is the same as as this okay so then what we have here if we do the same exercise to this guy what we can write is change in quantity over quantity divided by change in price over price and then this could be written as change in quantity over quantity multiplied by price over change in price, price. all right and then this thing could be written as change in quantity over change in price all you're doing is just moving this to the left that's again your basic fractions uh, so instead of saying change in quantity so this effectively is change in quantity in times price divided by quantity into change in price so since you are multiplying the change in price could be to the left so this could simply be written as 
so this thing can be written like this all right all you're doing is just basic algebraic movements so then that means what you are left with is the change in quantity over change in price multiplied by price over quantity so so that means at this point then the elasticity is equal to the p over q which is 100 over 50 multiplied by change in q over change in p does that answer your question or there is still some vagueness no i i got can you, can you just uh, explain the second part of this focus on the equation which which second part the last bit that you said. okay so then so did you understand this part yeah I okay so what we are saying then is the elasticity is change in q over change in price multiplied by price over q so now if you want to find the elasticity at this point what can you do price yeah so if you know the price at that point so you know the price is 100 you know the q yeah and then you can multiply that by the change in quantity over change in price so uh, just to make this very there are two three ways of doing this first I'll tell you the basic way and then maybe the algebraic way so what's the basic way so if you have a small change over here what is the change in quantity let's say that the change in quantity goes from 49 to 51 so what would you put for the delta Q uh, you would put two. 2 divided by what would you put for the delta P let's say that I have not given you that data let's say that delta P changes from 98 to 102 so the delta P is 4 right so you plug in those numbers and you have your your answer that's that's one way of doing it now I guess I'll do another clip where I am also going to then show you the calculus we are doing it because this delta Q over delta P this is basic calculus it's basic differentiation okay which talks about the slope of the line and so on so that will be a separate little clip.